Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I am back here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida and I have this LC9S Ruger. For a review, a compact gun chambered in 9mm, very slim. Feels great. I already like the trigger. Let's do some shooting and see what it can do. Now, 9mm in a 3.1 barrel. Interesting. I am very curious to see how it can handle the recoil. Now, one thing that I wanted to mention right out of the bat is that the slide, the spring, I can tell it is pretty tough. It's not one of those lighter slides. So, what that gives you, it gives you a better recoil management, but at the same time, for people who prefer lighter, smoother slides, it's a little bit of a problem. Not a problem for me, but let's see how a small gun like this, with only 3.1 inch barrel, can handle the 9 millimeter. All right, let's do some shooting. See what it can do. All right, magazine goes in. Not too bad. I'll start with that yellow circle in the center. See if I can get it. So, getting the grip of it, let's do five more rounds and see if I can hit any of those uh, flappy paddles. All right, so the first impression, as you would imagine, of course, you do feel the recoil. Even with a tight spring like it is here, 3.1 inch barrel expect some jumpiness. Now. Of course, considering the size, considering the overall dimensions, I mean, it's compact, it's going to be very, very easy to conceal carry. I think that is worth the sacrifice with that recoil management, right? If you practice enough with this gun, if this is your main uh, concealed carry weapon. Let's do... Uh, Five more rounds, see if I can hit those fluffy pedals. That's the last one. Almost made me proud, but it did. <laughs> all right, so let's start with the grip. First of all, you have your polymer framed body, right? You can see it is fairly aggressive grip, and I do like it both on the back and on the front. We have pretty good serrations. I do respect. <laughs> this Ruger for implementing here this uh, mag pinky extension. I think it does help a lot in handling the recoil, so it's very good. Now, magazine itself is very easy to load. It is fairly easy to get it in. Just make sure that you get it all the way in. All right. Uh, back to the grip, however. I think Ruger have done a pretty good job here. Now the mag release button is not ambidextrous, right? it's only on one side. So uh, lefties, not very appropriate for lefties, but it does work very, very well compared to some other Ruger models. I have seen a few where mag release could have been better. Now, um, 
there is no serrations on the fry on the front of the uh, trigger guard. I kind of wish there were. I think they would have been helpful, especially considering this is a one of those micro guns where sometimes it helps to have this sort of a, this sort of a grip, right? Not 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 like this. But <laughs> you get the point with your uh, pointing finger at the trigger guard, but not here. Uh, there are no rails. So there is no option for mounting um, a laser or a flashlight, which I think would have been a plus in a small gun like this. I think people would have appreciated that. Uh, the serrations to rack the slide are only on the back. Now the slide itself, like I said, the guide rod and the spring, they are pretty tough. Although it's one of those, one of those newer guide rod designs which you can find today in similar to uh, um, Glock Generation 4 models. All right, now let's talk about the trigger. I think the trigger in this gun is one of my favorite things. Just check out how crisp it is. Take a look. Now you have your little safety pre-trigger, which again you can find in a few other Ruger models, including the um, SR9 that I have kind of gives you the feel only here. I think it does Especially a good job because it is so light, but it gives you the sense that aha, uh -huh, I'm touching the trigger I like it. I like it a lot now the trigger itself you have about well, It's about like four millimeters of some familiar safe travel, right and then you have Probably about two millimeters of unfamiliar, unsure travel, and then probably about two millimeters more before it snaps. Overall, it is pretty crisp, and I think overall it is a pretty good trigger, especially for people who prefer to carry the gun without the safety engaged. Now, let's talk a little bit about the safety. Uh, first of all, it's uh, your standard thumb safety, which engages up and what I like about the safety is it does not engage this way so counter uh, clockwise right it does not engage clockwise it engages counterclockwise which might sound like a little thing that doesn't really matter to you but but it actually really helps but it prevents you from accidentally engaging the safety whenever you are getting the grip because think about it in situations where you do need to use a gun all of these little details they do matter one little slip up and it might cost you your life or somebody else some innocent life right so you want to make sure that you don't have these little design flaws uh, i think it's great that ruger implemented it specifically this way another plus is that besides engaging counterclockwise right up it also engages up, which is really important, again, because if your safety engages down, which I've seen on some Rugers, if your safety engages down, some people, they have the grip resting on the thumb safety and accidentally they might engage that safety. So I actually do like this safety. So for people who prefer to carry their concealed weapon, right? Um, without the safety engage, this is a pretty good option. And for people who prefer to carry their guns with the safety engaged, this is a pretty good option. Pretty good option overall. <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about the sights. The sights are uh, your standard three dot sights, which, I mean, basic. I like basic, I like easy, you know, straightforward. Uh, easy to adjust to these sights. So um, I think let's do five more rounds and uh, we will try to come up with some uh, reasonable conclusion for these guns. The things that I do like about it and the things that I don't like about it. Which so far, I mean, the magazine is great. I like it. It's easy to load. Uh, it does have the pinky extension, which I think is great, especially considering that it's a small gun, a compact gun. Um, the as you can see, there are the holes on it, so it's nicely numbered, which is, by the way, seven plus one in the chamber, if you carry one in the chamber. Um, now, 
for a nine millimeter compact gun. Yes, there are options out there with a bigger capacity magazine, like for example, a Springfield Hellcat, I think it's 13 capacity magazine, which is uh, pretty much just as small, maybe a tiny little bit bigger than this pistol right here. Uh, there are some Glocks out there that are fairly compact, maybe a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, but with much higher capacity magazines. So uh, it really, really comes down to the personal preference. Do you want something that is um, slim, right? Lightweight, easy to conceal pretty much anywhere you want with a little bit of lower capacity magazine or you want a more capacity magazine with something that is harder to conceal. Personal preference. All right, so let's do Our last five rounds, we'll try to come up with a reasonable conclusion. Now, I will try to get that, finish up that yellow in the center. All right, let's, uh, there you go. Rack it this way too. Works this way as well. Let's see. All right. Going a little bit low, but that's, because I am uh, anticipating that recoil. All right, so Ruger LC9. Overall, I think it is a pretty good option for a uh, concealed carry. It is small, it is slim, it is very, very lightweight. Now, uh, if you are not a fan of those guns that are harder to rack, keep in mind this is on the tougher slide side. Uh, not very applicable to lefties because the mag release is all not ambidextrous, the safety is not ambidextrous, the slide release is not ambidextrous, nothing is ambidextrous. <laughs> you get the point, right? I think it is the size wise, it being the fact if you want a 9mm to be able to conceal carry, I think this is a really good option uh, out of all of the more compact, smaller guns that are available out there. So, pretty good job, Ruger. Let's get ready for the next review. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.